looking at the circle. Team number 13, Future Station, are in a perfect place. They, need to, they don't need to move too far. The problem is no one wants to make a move right now because there is no cover in the new zone. It's going to be a bloodbath. For Future Station now, since they do have a little bit of a holding, they got to make sure the people come into them. And it looks like Bad Rev is going to be doing the Shalali. Takes out Frankie. Oh. And, well, ASE are going to move in as well. One of them got knocked out, but Poison is the one who is going to steal that kill again. By hook or by crook, doesn't matter how you get those kill points as long as you do. With that team, T2KSG are going to be eliminating the eighth position with six kills. And following them shortly is going to be PN Crew with four to their name. You know what? They got killed. I'm happy with that. Yeah. PN Crew, uh, so we also had Poison trying to stay alive for as long as possible. Look at Future Station right now. They know there's a lot of smokes here, and that's a little bit of an opportunity for ASC to heal up, to rez up, and Kurkure is going for a play. He's going to take the fight to Tamim, and he's going to get shredded by three players. Machine from the first floor, steel shot from the little bit of a garage over there. As Mafia Ninja from DRS is still in the running, but a trade's going to come take place as Sonam's going to find him. But Tamim, he wants to finish this one off. He wants to take care of ASC, but they have the cover, and it's going oh, to get shot down, and he doesn't mm. go prone in time. Now, they have to take the fight. They need to finish this one off. But ASC, they're mowing them down at Future Station. They're just losing men left, right, and center. Hanuel, he knows there's someone else nearby. One man left standing for Future Station. No. And it's going to be Machine who gets taken down. Actually, no, I take that back. One more player left alive. One it's more player left alive. Riff. But it's going to come down to Bad Riff, And I haven't seen him anywhere nearby. Well, there you have it. Bad Riff on his screens right now. The thing is, he can't really do anything right now. Maybe he could have given some assistance a little bit earlier. But Elementrix are going to be going ham on DRS as they are knocking them down one by one. But they are taking a lot of damage out from the blue one now. Badro says, I am not going to be sitting quiet. He lays down a few shots at ASE, but there you have it. How have ASE won that 4v3 where they had to push it? So well done. Orange from Elementary. And this is the second time they did it, Blay. Absolutely. That these guys are so fantastic. It was down to the final four teams. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 left alive. Asidious Esports, 13 kills to their name. Abrupt wow. players, two alive with six kills. Elementrix, the one man left standing is Hayozu on four. And DRS Gaming have three. Oh. AJ. And it is, of course, going to be DRS Gaming who gets the kill onto Mr. Hayozu. DRS gets spotted out, though, as Heaven from a perfect angle finds one, but he will get taken down by AJ. And with that, all of a there sudden, <laughs> we're down to a 3v3. Asidious, 13 kills. DRS with five. Asidious Esports are playing like they did in the first day of the league play. This is what happened, Blade. These guys just went absolutely ballistic and took charge on the very first day. Maybe they might just make a comeback, but it is going to be a 3v3 situation. ASC versus DRS Gaming. And now on paper, it is pretty even Stevens because a lot of cover is going to be there because of that uh, road. And the land on either side just gradually slopes down, giving them a little bit of cover. Now, this is, this is smart. This is smart. They are blowing all these vehicles, making sure that it doesn't come to bite them later on. But AJ has been spotted out. Ooh, he tries to zig and zag his way. In fact, crawl his way out of Arms way, but um, it's impossible. It, I mean, you know what? I'm calling it. I'm, I'm calling it. I'm, I'm, one Windows. thing, one thing that I am kind of finding a little funny is where are the grenades? Have they already spent them all? They don't need to. They don't need to. Because guess what? They're in the zone. Assidious are in a safe zone. DRS have They've to cross. They have to cross the road of death. And trust me, the moment they show their heads, they're going to get mowed down. What is going to bring them down or what is going to be against them is the fact that they don't have any smokes. We need some smoke grenades to be deployed. Not we a need single to smoke. conceal the movement if they want to have a chance or the only option they have is every one of them get up at the same time, spot their members and start shooting. But now that is what's going to happen. Mafia Ninja is going to get taken down. That's... Ah, Galvin just taken down as well. AJ has been spotted. Those hit markers are going to be confirming it. And there you have it, ladies and Gentlemen, Asidious Esports making a statement, making a comeback, winning the first game of the day with a plum. About damn time. They have been so, they've been so quiet on Bottom day of one. The table. Bottom of the table, and now they get chicken dinner with 16 points. That's 31 points to the name, and that's going to give them a nice little boost in the overall standings. Well, talking about boost, have a look at them smiling and uh, blushing a bit. Of course, they know the cameras are on them, so you know they know the world is going to be celebrating with them as well. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Winner, winner, chicken dinner in game number one on day three.